realizing that one of the big reasons I don't relate to the ISTP mechanic stereotype uh, is just because as I was growing up, I was never really encouraged to develop mechanical skills. Um, and so, you know, I just never like knew whether I had mechanical skills or not. And, you know, I had other things occupying my interest. I mean, you know, ISTPs aren't born knowing how to work on cars. You know, <laughs> it's a skill. You have, to, you have to learn it from somewhere and then develop a skill. You gotta practice it. I, you know, I just never did that, you know, I was, you know, I was into computers as a kid, you know, I grew up in the 80s, uh, you know, I used, to, I used to write basic, and then I uh, studied computer science when I was in high school, uh, you know, I excelled academically, so my parents just kind of figured I would just, I would go to college, get a degree, and get a, you know, high paying tech job, which is actually what ended up happening, and, you know, so that I would have no need to, you know, fix my own car, Anytime I needed something fixed in my car, I would just take it to a mechanic. Which is what I've been doing for the most part. What was negative first? Okay. But you know, the thing is, as I've been, you know, learning about MBTI and reading about ISTPs being like, you know, good with their hands and fixing mechanical things, you know, I would be like, no, that's not me. But, you know, in the reality is I just, I just didn't know whether I was good at mechanical things because, you know, I just never really tr gave it a try. You know, I was always, you know, I was basically just kind of afraid that, you know, if I messed something up, I wouldn't be able to put it back together again. And I think I've actually become more confident about, you know, fixing mechanical things, you know, after I successfully replaced those toilet parts a few months ago. So, you know, figured, figured maybe it's uh, perhaps time to expand my horizons a bit, start with small things on an as-needed basis. And if for some reason I just completely mess something up, then I can always call a mechanic. And I know to this day, my ESFJ mom would still tell me, you know, you should just take your car into the dealer and have them do it for you. You know, you could afford it. Like, yeah, I can, but you know, that's not the point. You know, I've, I, you know, I decided to look up online, you know, how to replace a battery, and I was, you know, kind of surprised at like how easy it is to do. And you know, I looked at the battery and like, yeah, it all makes sense. I could do this myself. So decided to give it a try. Now. Will I do it again the next time? I don't know. I think it will just depend on the situation. You know. It depends on the situation. <laughs> and you know, in the beginning, uh, there is a, a transfer of knowledge that has to happen, perhaps from one ISTP to another. But um, from there, it's a lot of hands-on learning. Um, you know, like they say in a lot of the MTI ISTP descriptions. on learning and uh, you know at some point it's like oh yeah that's how that goes on there you know people with uh, introverted sensing and extroverted thinking might prefer to just memorize steps from a manual or something you know neither way is wrong it's just a matter of uh, personal preference I'm only referring to like a brief summary of instructions here and I think I've only since I started doing this, I think I've only like, referenced this like twice. So, you know, even though I never really considered myself mechanical throughout most of my life, you know, perhaps I'm actually more mechanical than I realized. Well, as far as I can tell, the battery is installed, so <laughs> let's find out. I should probably take my tablet off the engine.
Voila. Uh, just FYI, don't charge your cell phone in your car with the engine off. Dirty to turn off the camera. <laughs> it's kind of reminiscent of my ASMR days. <laughs> <laughs> 